Hey everybody, time for another video log. I had a couple questions in my comments about my last couple battle reports and my list, so I figured I'd go over uh, and show off my list and what's been going on with it. Uh, this is the same 2,000 point list I've played in three of my last four battle reports. I played it, of course, in the, against the demons. I played it against uh, the 32 Terminator list, and also against um, Space Wolves. And I think that was the first week of Planetary Empires. So, and I haven't made any changes yet, uh, but I do have a couple minor changes planned. So, first of all, let's go ahead and go over my list. Uh, this is it. This is my entire 2,000 point army that I'm playing right now. Uh, start winning with the HQs. Let's go down here for a little bit of a better view. Um, first one is a war boss with Power Claw, Combi Scorcha, and other standard accoutrements. Um, my KFF mech with Berna. Those are the two HQs. Uh, pretty standard, uh, very point efficient. For troop choices, I first have 19 Hard Boys which includes the knob, and all my knobs are equipped with power claws and boss poles, every single one of them, and that's in with the troops. Um, and these ride with the mech in the heavy support choice battle wagon. My next troop choice is of course knobs. I have eight knobs with all kinds of various war gear, two combi scorches, two power claws, three big choppas, uh, pain boy, and wabana. They ride with the uh, War boss in the other battle wagon, which is taken as a dedicated transport. This unit of 20 slugger boys with knob. Got this unit of 20 shooter boys with two big shooters and the knob. Got truck boys with uh, the knob, of course. And those are my troop choices. So I have five troop choices. And for elites, I'm running two units of Ludas, one with eight models, one with nine models. Uh, I'm probably going to make some adjustments so I can get bump those both up to 10 models. Uh, my two battle wagons, one is said is a heavy support, the other one's taken as a dedicated transport. Um, they're armed identically. Um, they both have reinforced ram, red paint job, armor plates, grout riggers, a cannon, and big shooter. I take the cannon because I can fire defensively with the template. Uh, so I can get off the move 7 inches, uh, squeeze off the big shooter and the template if I need to. And lastly, my other heavy support choice is currently three killer cans cut armed with custom Mega Blasters. Uh, but I don't think those custom Mega Blasters are going to last much longer. They've pretty much been uh, not really useful. Of course, not playing any Terminators has helped uh, probably skew the way I'm looking at them. But there's a good chance that those custom Mega Blasters are going to be replaced with rockets or maybe even go back to the Kratzukas. I'm not sure yet. So that's my 2,000 point list that I've been uh, having some pretty good success with the last few weeks. Um, so that was the list. And the other question is, uh, what units are doing the best? Well, I can tell you that pretty much every unit in this list uh, performs exactly as expected. I really have not been disappointed with anything except for the extra points spent on the custom Mega Blasters over the rockets on the cans. Uh, but essentially, everything is just average. Every unit has been used to their fullest extent. Every unit has been proven to be uh, useful. Not only useful, but almost necessary. So let's go over the Ard Boys. What have the Ard Boys done? Well, uh, this week against the Demons, they were able to clear out some Plague Bearers uh, with all those attacks. Uh, the uh, Even Plague Bearers didn't stand much of a chance against that number of Ard Boys. Um, even if I didn't wipe them out and assault, the uh, anything that was left over would have suffered some no-retreat wounds. Uh, KFF is doing well. Uh, there's only two battle wagons. I, there's usually a lot of shooting at them, so I don't have a lot. So I can't usually make all the saves but it's still a threat. 
And of course, the custom force field also extends around the cans, which makes the cans very durable. Much more durable than the battle wagons, surprisingly. Uh, knobs. Knobs, of course, are a force multiplier. Not only are they incredibly killy by themselves, as I explained in my other knob videos, but they're so intimidating that they actually make um, my, my opponents do different things, uh, react differently, act differently, deploy differently, uh, just under the threat of the knobs. Uh, of course, against the Space Wolves, they just marched across the table out in the open uh, and survived four or five turns of shooting, whatever it was, uh, which just basically is all army shooting at them uh, to wipe out a, a two attack bikes and uh, let's see, what was the other one? Oh, a tactical squad. But it was the, the threat of the knobs that kept the fire, fight, fire going to them and not to uh, more valuable units. Uh, the Ludas have just been absolutely admirable. Having two units of Ludas makes a big difference over just one unit. Because if you roll a one or two for your shots, you can always use the other unit as backup. And you know, if one the first unit takes out a target, you get to switch to another target. It's, it's um, amazing having two units. And surprisingly, even the 8 and 9 models is a little fragile, but usually you only lose one unit at a time. So you can always at least get uh, one unit shooting, and by the time that unit is shooting, second or third turn, you've got, you know, boys and cans and battle wagons up in your opponent's face, and they're not really concerned about the looters that much anymore. Uh, the cans have been exceptional time and time again. Uh, first, against the Space Wolves, they just killed a bunch of Marines, killed a Rhino, just uh, were absolutely fantastic. Against the Terminators, oh my goodness, tying up 11 Terminators for no less than six combat phases was huge, because he only had one chain fist in the entire unit, everything else was power weapons. So I was able to just uh, maw through those. Uh, Slugger Boys on foot. Uh, they're usually either charging forward or taking an objective. Against weak against the uh, demons, I used them against Papa Nurgle, and they were able to tie up uh, the Great Unclean one for quite a while, and eventually could chop them down on wounds enough so that I could uh, finish them off. Shooter boys, shooter boys are played so differently than the Slugger boys. Um, they will usually stand back and work on the objectives more than the Slugger boys. Slugger boys usually run forward, as like I said. Shooter boys are good at standing back, taking the objective, and plinking away with their big shooters. Anything gets close, here comes the uh, tidal wave of shooters, uh, which is a different tactic for me because I used to run. I was a big fan of shooters in the battle wagon, uh, running drive-bys, but now I'm, I replace those with the art boys, obviously. And so the art boys run forward in greater numbers, and 19 art boys is just, ugh, it, it's incredible. But again, you have to be careful, because I didn't use the Art Boys against uh, the Great Unclean one, I used the regular boys. So you have to pick your targets carefully. And the maneuverability of the Battle Wagon allows you to do that. Truck Boys. Truck Boys are probably the most fragile unit in the list, and I have always kept them in reserve. Every single mission, I've, every single list time, i played them all three times. And that was a great way to grab an objective late in the game. So, and unfortunately against the demons they came in a little bit too so a little bit too soon, but they were still able to wipe out an entire unit of plague bearers, which is uh, actually above average uh, for a unit of twelve boys. So I was very happy about that. And well, that's my list. Uh, the effectiveness. So basically, every unit is both effective and required uh, to have a winning winning shot. There's really nothing that could just uh, perform subpar, and there's really nothing that uh, was just absolutely exceptional. Uh, so that's my list, and I'm trying to be running out of time. Uh, changes to the list, of course, I'm probably going to drop the custom Mega Blasters for rockets. That'll free up enough points for a, another Luda, and then i got to try and free up a few points somewhere else, probably drop a knob uh, to go more Ludas, or maybe drop a couple options on the Battle Wings. I'm not sure yet. Uh, so that's it. That's my 2,000 point list I'm playing right now. Any questions, uh, go ahead and leave comments and let me know what you think. I'll be back for more soon.